Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore 64, and we're looking at a game called Target Renegade by Ocean in 1988. It's a sideways scroller beat-em-up, which also came out on the Amstrad CBC and ZX Spectrum. It was quite a classic on the ZX Spectrum. I haven't played it on the Amstrad, so I'm not quite sure there, but quite looking forward to seeing it on the Commodore 64. Um, you control, uh, well, you're one character because it's one or two players, but if you're both there, you'll be members of the Renegade Gang, and you must rescue uh, or avenge Matt's death, who's your brother, from Mr. Big. So, here we go. Hmm, controlling a little bit weird. I look a bit like Rambo here. I like the music. Right, that's taken him out. I think you need to jump straight away. Uh, the characters do look different from Target Renegade on the ZX Spectrum. I'm taking a bit of a pound in here. What are those eyes looking backward and forward in the middle? What's all that about? Anyway, it says good luck. Time's ticking down as well on the left. Find it a bit hard to... Yeah. On the Spectrum version, you could just do keep these doing flying kicks and knocking them flying. Looks like it's very hard to land the kicks on this one. Oops, and he's grabbed me. How do I get out of this? God, look at the endurance going down. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not fair. So the gameplay is a little bit unfair. God, look at they follow you down the screen also. Hmm. Now, if I can get that club off that other fellow, uh, I should be able to use that, which will make the game a lot easier. God, I'm not a fan of that. Look at the way the endurance goes down. That's madness. That is not fair. When, when you lose a life, it should uh, reset to the beginning again. Did not like that at all. Maybe I'll get the hang of it. Written by Dave, well, Dave Collier. Graphics by John Palmer and Martin McDonald. Music by Gary Biasillo. We'll keep the music on. But um, yeah, hopefully I get a bit more used to it, because um, at the moment I'm not liking it a great deal. Right, away we go. Graphics are good. That music is pretty cool as well. Um, it's different from uh, other home uh, versions I play, but uh, I have to judge it for what it is. Didn't own a Commodore 64 back in the day. I find it very hard to get the time into this. I think we have, maybe have to get a bit closer. But you can't beat the version that you grew up with. I grew up with the ZX Spectrum version, so, but if you grew up with the Commodore 64 version, no doubt you'd think this one is better and how it should be uh, played. But I find it a little bit awkward at the moment. It's more difficult than the Spectrum version for me first on. And this is very frustrating. How, how many times are you going to keep driving past me? Oh man, I can't take much more of this. I can't take much more. 1988 Ocean, great publishing house, produced so much stuff. This is level one. Am I ever going to get off level... Well, am I going to get to level two in this review thing? It's doubtful looking at this. Now, these reviews, which is just as well, aren't about great gameplay. Occasionally it happens, but it's quite rare. So, uh, you know, sometimes confuses people who say, why is this bad gameplay? Well, it's not supposed to be that good gameplay. It says to me, how are your first or second go would have been for the average gameplay? And I am pretty average. And would there have been enough there for you to want to go back and play it again? Um, I think I would have tolerated it, despite being not very good. But yeah, there's there's a few ways it can be uh, improved. I'll let you make your decision as well. But I really don't like that bit where you get grabbed. I'm hitting fire button to try and release it. You just lose too many lives on that bit. I'm guessing it's going to be the same two fellas attacking you throughout the whole of the game. And that's... Oh, man. I just want to throw it out the window now. Kaboom. Hmm. But uh, it's likely that you, you need to put in the practice here to get the best out of it. So just to confirm the storyline, you're trying to avenge um, the death of your brother Matt um, by defeating all Mr. Big's army. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a feel of a street hassle on this. I want to like it more than I'm, I am doing. My brain's telling me it's Target Renegade. You've got to love this to death. But my, in reality, I'm trying to say, go look at this. Why? I saw that coming a mile off. Perhaps there's a special skill. I'm pressing down and up and fire button to try and break free. This could be a shorter review, this, but um, I'll persist and just see if I get any decency. But I, as soon as I can get that club, I'll maybe get off the first level, because it's some sort of multi-story. Let's try and experiment jumping a bit later, maybe. Uh, maybe get the bike fellow. That works. So jump a bit later, as I suspected. One punch and then maybe walk away and come back. But fighting two people at the same time is bad news. It just happens to be that there's two people always coming at you at the same time. But I haven't really got past these first two people yet. I'm absolutely hopeless at this. If you completed the game back in the day, let me know. It's, it's this bit that's killing me. This bit that's killing me big style. How do I get out of here? Right, you do kicks and punches. I need to maybe demonstrate the, the kicks a little bit better. Right, good. 
pick up the club. Should be a bit easier now. Go Rambo, go. Let me at last start to enjoy this game now. Target Renegade. I'm not sure if the original Renegade came out on the um, man on the Commodore 64. I presume it did. Right, okay. Was this version held in high, high regard by Commodore 64 owners? Let me know. I mean, I'm liking it a little bit better now I've got this club going. Take that, you. Right, okay, so maybe it's going to warm me now. I've got the kicking timing to knock the blokes off the bike. Always going to be the same people we're fighting by the looks of things, with their blue jeans on. But it's a different colour jeans than what I'm wearing, so that's my main character. I like the way he's walking along. The club doesn't look like a club, it looks like it's made out of ice. Ice, ice, baby. Take that. Batter up. Yeah, the club's making it a lot, a lot more easier. Oh, another motorbike person. Give me a, give me a break. Oh, I've got him first time. Right, now, as long as I can keep these two people a distance apart, I should be able to take them out. It's just when they get next to each other, one of them will grab me, and then my endurance will go down, and I'll suddenly lose all my lives very, very quickly, all in one go. Go to the lift, it's saying, on the left, so hopefully we're a bit closer. Another motorbiker. Motorbiking, yeah, yes. Right, stay apart. Boof, 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 boof. They walk towards me very slowly. I know I wouldn't walk towards a man holding a baseball bat, but never mind. It's the same thing each time. It's the same thing each time. There's no variety. Hopefully level two gets a little bit more variety. The lift should be over here, shouldn't it? Oh man, again. What's next? It's going to be another biker, so we're just going to do that. It's, it's, it's a bit tedious, this game. Music is good though. Maybe I want too much from a game from 1988. One. You're pretty much what I know what I'm going to do here. Walk there, walk there. Kaboom. Yeah, I'm very interested to think, see what you, you think about the game, really. It's hard to see it as an adult trying to look back when you didn't own it back in the day. It's holding together okay. It animates It animates well. The music is good. Yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a grower, I think, this one. It's gonna, I'm going to slowly, slowly warm to it, I think. Yeah, there's the lift there on the right. I just need to take out this guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm warming to it very slowly. It's not an instant like for me. Oh, I like that scrolling. So level two. Hopefully we get a few different people to fight. Not so far, or else it's going to get very uh, samey indeed. So we're going from um, uh, right to left this time. I don't know what happened to my bat. I took it in the lift and it's evaporated. So you lose the weapon. But I think that happened on the Spectrum version as well, to be fair. So, um can't take that away. There's more colour in this version of course because the Commodore 64 has a bigger palette than the uh, ZX Spectrum. Uh, the games look like at their very own uh, feel from different systems. Sometimes now in modern day games you can't tell too much of the difference between the latest Xbox and PlayStation but this this time you, you, you know on site whether say it's Commodore 64 or Spectrum. Probably Amstrad as well but as I say I've never played an Amstrad game believe it or not. But uh, there we go. 8 bits tend to cover mainly the ZX Spectrum, the occasional Commodore 64, and also the Atari 2600. The reason why I cover Atari 2600, not the later models, is I wanted to say a bit of an earlier era of the ZX Spectrum, so the system I just about missed back in the day. Occasionally I get comments saying, why don't you try superior versions on the, on the other Atari systems? Well, that would defeat the object. Right. Boof. Yeah, I think I'm going to get off level 2 now, I know it's the same here, but it looks very much, very much the same as, oh, I've lost the bat, very much the same as level 1, but obviously in a different direction. Live's still looking good, but we know it's it suddenly goes bad news if they, one of them grabs me, and they're going to grab me if they get too close together, these two twits. They're walking in a very unusual way, look at the, up, down, up, down, up, down, the wallies, oh, there's the lift there, so... In theory, I just need to take out these two people. Well, I say just, and it should be the next stage. They've dropped the bat, just one left. Just keep him away from the bat, Nick. If I pick up the bat, I'll probably... Oh, it's a waste of time picking up the bat, but I will anyway, because I'm going to lose it in the lift. Right, the amazing disappearing bat. There it is, it's gone. Hmm. Get any deja vu, anyone? I think I've seen this before. Yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. You can turn the music off if you want. If it's getting a bit repetitive, you can turn it off. I don't know if that replaces it with maybe sound effects or it all just goes very quiet. I presume very quiet. We've got 2 minutes 46 seconds left. It's still saying good luck. It's still level 1. Okay, so 
There's various levels of level one, and I'm presuming you're always gonna be fighting the same people until you can actually get off that level. This isn't gonna be a complete walkthrough as you probably already know, so let me know what the characters are like on future levels. Does it does does it get extra variety? I feel like I'm grinding a, a, a little bit here to try and get uh, get through. Backward and forward, forward and backward, backward and forward, backward and overdrive. It's good that they're wearing crash helmets though. Reminds me a little bit of those people in Star Wars A New Hope when Darth Vader uh, boarded the ship. What was it, the Tantive IV was it? Hmm. Right. More baseball bats are sold than baseballs, I'd wonder, I'd, I'd, I reckon. I wonder why they wonder why that's happening. I haven't really got time to pick up. Oh, I'm picking it up now. Do, 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 do. Endurance. Lives too. Hmm. Always against the same two people here. Uh, well, just in summary then, now I've played it a little bit. As a kid, I would have played it every now and again. It wouldn't have been my go-to game. Once you get used to it, the timings and what to do, essentially, there's a bit of, there's a bit of fun there. Probably a lot more fun in two-player, I'd wager. With two of you on the screen, yeah, with two of you on the screen, this game's really going to come to life. So that's that's what I'm missing, really. Excitement factor. It's a player two being here. It's really a two-player game rather than a one-player game. Where are you, player two? Where are you? Hmm. It's good to give the game's a bit of a go, not come to a decision straight away. Because initially I found this game very, very annoying. And I've warmed to it ever so slightly as I've played it. It takes a while to get used to it. You get, you get games like that, so don't uh, dismiss it completely out of hand. Mind you, there's some games, no matter how many times you play it, EastEnders on the ZX Spectrum, will always be terrible. Do, do, do. 50 seconds left to get off this level. Oh no, now I'm losing it. See, that's, that's the move. That's the move that ruins it. If I had player two there, he could get me out of a hole. But player two is not here. Yeah, so hope you liked having a look at that one. As I say, I, I didn't find it too bad in the end. Um, that was Target Renegade. Got a few flaws on my, on my money. That was on the Commodore 64, published by Ocean Software in 1988. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.